banking is necessary, banks are not. Bill Gates made this rather controversial statement as early as 1994. Well, a quarter century later, technology is shaking up the financial industry for good. Banking incumbents will need to reinvent themselves to survive the restructuring in their industry. The way we handle money is changing rapidly and the whole industry is in the midst of a profound metamorphosis. We believe that the overall learning outcome at Coburg is not limited to classroom tuition, but is also experienced off campus. Yeah, we're currently in Frankfurt on our annual excursion with 30 master students. And the topic of this year's excursion is fintechs, disruption and the future of banking. And it makes you wonder whether this great skyline may not actually turn out to be a bunch of white elephants. I strongly believe that banking will fundamentally change, that banks have to be customer-centric, that you really have to be independent, offer the best products to, to your customers. And there is no way to succeed if you're not able to provide the best product to your customer in the market. I already know what's okay. Maybe the bank is not the perfect place for me. Startups develop innovative web and mobile applications for this purpose creating an innovative access point for the digitally savvy millennial client group. Thereby, fintechs break up the conventional bank into its component parts, automate business processes and grow their online presence and brand. Some of the activity is being carried out by large incumbent banks, but the majority comes from fintechs and neobanks implementing disruptive technologies in digital laboratories such as in the Tech Quartier Frankfurt. In the age of digitization and open banking, disruptive technologies are forcing the incumbents to redesign their business models to meet this new competition or lose access to client data and customer. For a very traditional private banking expert for us, it is important to say how do we combine modern technology with the experiences and competences we developed over decades. In Frankfurt, the gestation and development of fintech labs was explored, whereas in Berlin we focus on the governance, legal and regulatory aspects. The goal of the study visit is to show the internationality, practical relevance and topicality of the master programs in the Department of Business and Economics at Coburg. In order to comprehend the dynamics of disruption and future banking, students need to understand technology, finance and business creation. I think uh, the best part of the expression for me was a visit to the Deutsche Bank, um, where we basically learn about um, dis digitalization and um, how it is disrupting the traditional banking. And also, uh, as we've seen in Finance Guru, we, uh, I know some uh, inside tips about the, the startup or the fintech industry. And also how the state and the government um, looks at this topic, and we had a very wide angle from different perspectives and that was very interesting. Uh, we can also view the future prospects of fintechs which is an, a very exciting uh, career opportunity right now for all of us. So this is something that uh, we got to take away in our program. <laughs>